My name is Jacob. I'm based in Copenhagen. I've been running this studio for 25 years plus, and I've been blessed with the opportunity to work with some amazing brands, um, both um, Danish and international. A really good day in the design studio is when uh, we sketch in the morning and then we go 3D modeling uh, midday and then the 3D printer is actually printing the physical model of what, what was an idea in the morning. That, that's, that's when the design process comes really alive for me. As a designer, you're supposed to go through a process of creation which in many ways resembles how evolution works. That you, you come up with ideas, you start analyzing, um, you build uh, a prototype of some sort, you test it, uh, you go back to, re, to reinvent, to rethink, to you know, understand it more and more. We just condense evolution down to three weeks or three months, rather than 300,000 years or three billion years. Um, and 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 so so there's a lot to learn from the real evolution uh, because that that is the process of trial and error is is very similar to the process we try to do in in the design lab. If there's if I, if I should mention one source of inspiration that is like profoundly inspiring, is nature. Nature always finds super good solutions and there's never any waste. Uh, the, the, it's always in a big system that works together and it's always rege regenerative, um, which, is, which is super fascinating. We are nature, we, we're built by nature. We, we, it, so, so it can come as no surprise that we find nature utterly beautiful because it, it resonates with our whole system. What has become really important to me is to, to work solely on something, you know, on, a, on conscious projects. That means sustainability is a given. And as a product designer, one of the most important things we can do is to actually make products so they're relevant, so they make sense to us. It is, it is, it is embedded in the design thinking that, that we should make something that has intrinsic value that we want to keep for a long time. I think, um, I think Danish design is relevant today because it wants to tell simple stories that make sense uh, about products that we then keep for a long time. It's impossible to describe Danish design in three words. Um, but the, 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 if I had to, you know, the words that come to my mind is human-centered, uh, authentic and meaningful. One of the important ways that Danish mindset have influenced Danish design, I think, is, is uh, the concept of balance. Designing is complex. There's a, there's a million different things to take into consideration and to balance everything out in a way that it becomes a simple gesture um, is the goal.